morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. We're in Bodette, Minnesota. Right at the Canadian border. This is where we parked for tonight. Right along with these fine folks. I have an empty 53 foot flat behind me. We're going back up to Kenora, Ontario. So Bodette, Minnesota is right across the border from Rainy River, Ontario. We're ready to go. Those of you who have followed me for any length of time know that I come through here all the time uh, between Brainerd, Minnesota and uh, Kenora, Ontario. Not all the time, but pretty often. And I come down through International Falls because there's no toll to go from Ontario into Minnesota, from Fort Francis, Ontario into International Falls, Minnesota. It's about eh, 15 miles shorter to go that way. Maybe not that much, maybe 20 at the most. But if you come up here going north, if you go from International Falls into Fort Francis, there's like a 20 some dollar toll. So I come up here through Bodette Rainy River because there's no toll here to get back into Canada. It's so weird. They charge you to go back home, but they don't charge you to leave. It's like they don't want me there or something. Get out of here, Trucker Josh. Go! Be with your American buddies if you like them so much. Well, I do like them very much. Thank you. I'd love to live down in the US, but you know how hard it is for a Canadian to move down to the US legally? You know how hard they make that for us? Very good. Plus, you know what? We're in a good spot. We live in a very good community. There's no wars or anything. No reason for me to really leave. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. But all joking aside, I mean, this is just the route I go. I, I go up through Rainy River here. Uh, it's like I said, 15 to 20 miles further, but when I'm empty, it balances out and uh, I actually save a little bit of money going this way. It's, it's not much, but I still refuse to pay the toll man if I don't have to pay the toll man. Off we go. Okay. Keep all arms and legs inside the ride at all times. trailer we got a tarp it and then go back down to Brainerd we'll be in Brainerd tonight and we'll unload first thing in the morning tomorrow and see uh, see where we're going from there one thing at a time I've never stayed the night here in Bodette Minnesota oh they got a nice little walking path here oh that's good to know if I ever want to do my walk here. Most towns do have like paved walking paths like that now, which is awesome. I think that's a relatively new thing because when I was a kid that wasn't as popular, but a lot of towns are encouraging people to get more active. I think that's a good thing. I'm not the most fit guy out there. I'm not the most active guy. But I know I need to be, I need to be more active, you know? I try to do my walks. I love trucking in the summertime, spring, so much more. Winter just makes everything a lot more difficult, but you know, if we didn't have winter, we wouldn't appreciate the warm weather as much. A 900 feet, turn left on, International Drive, and N72. Absolutely, I think that's a good idea. That'll take me to the bridge. Not this street, the next one, by the fish. Usually we're coming from the other direction, right? But I went past here last night to the truck stop over there.
bridge from the land of the free to the true north strong and free, somewhat free. gotten here I've gotten loaded and now I'm just getting my tarps on the load I was in the tarp shed I got them over there there's another guy pulled up behind me so I pulled out to finish up finish up outside like we're supposed to if there's no one behind you you can finish up inside but you're supposed to pull forward just you know tack down the four corners of your tarps so that they don't fly away and then finish outside there's a lot of guys who don't read the signs and don't know the rules and then they spend three hours in the tarp shed and everyone else is delayed by three hours then as well. So let's all remember to be considerate of others behind us. If there's nobody behind you, I don't care. Take your time in the tarp shed, do the whole thing, and have supper in there, I don't care. But if there's someone behind you, move it. It's the exact same load that I had yesterday. Hey, exact same. So I've tacked down the four corners. See, I've got to tack down here, all the way down there. I've already started putting my bungees on here. All I gotta do is finish up. But it is starting to rain, so I'm gonna stop talking to you and get this done before it really starts raining. I'd rather not get wet if I don't have to. All right, we're ready to go. All buttoned up. The middle is tied down so my tarp's not flapping. Time to go.
got to climb that hill right away. So about five and a half, six hours down to Brainerd. And across from Fort Francis and International Falls again. In a half mile, turn right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 17A. Leaving here at four o'clock, so we should get there around uh, ten, between ten and eleven, probably, with stopping for coffee. There'll probably be a lineup at the gate already, so. We'll see what happens. There's a couple of guys that got loaded before me that'll be going to the same place. This intersection is bad. So I've got to turn right. Now you guys have seen this before, but traffic coming from here, the speed limit's 90 kilometers an hour, but most of them are doing about 105. So speed limit's 55 miles an hour, most are doing 65. And they can't see me, and we can't see them until the last minute. So nobody's coming, nobody's coming. And there's no passing lane. There is a sign, a flashing sign at the top of the hill, like around the corner, because it's the downhill as well, right? There's a flashing sign up there saying that there's trucks turning in, so they should be ready. I haven't never had any really ish, big issues or anything, but I just put my four ways on and you know, do the best we can. That's that's how they built the road. And there we go. Doesn't take too long to get up to speed as we're going down the hill. So we'll go up here. This is Highway 17 Trans Canada. We go up to Kings Highway 17. And then we take the Kings Highway down to... Uh, what highway is that down there? The highway that turns towards Emo. All the way down. 11, right? 11, yeah. You take 11 into Fort Francis. It's also the 71, the 71 goes into the US and Minnesota. I'm gonna have to look into getting new wipers. All these wipers do is just spread stuff around. Even with the washer fluid, it doesn't take it off the window, it just spreads it around. We're doing it. It's drizzling. It's spitting. Just a little bit, but it's not fully raining. According to the forecast, it's just supposed to be doing this for another two hours. So we're quickly just doing a quick walk. And Fort Francis here. You know, this Pizza Hut's closed too. So did every Pizza Hut close down? They all seem to be closed. The one in Steinbeck closed down too, but that doesn't surprise me. It got sold to new owners several years ago. and It's just immediate, awful. So we know that they drove that one into the ground, but I'm seeing that a lot of other Pizza Hut locations are closed as well. Oh! Just the building is closed. There's a Pizza Hut right here. What? So that's Pizza Hut now. Well, why don't you use the actual hut? That's the hut. That's not the hut. Huh. Okay, so Pizza Hut hasn't been closed down. They just don't want to be a hut anymore. You should just be called the Pizza Building then. 
just the pizza place, the the pizza generic warehouse. That's not a hot. Okay, well, that answers my question, I guess. So weird, right? I wonder if that building got condemned or something. There's got to be a reason why you wouldn't use the hut for Pizza Hut right next door. Blows my mind. Oh well, I would go over here anyway to Boston Pizza. That's my one of my favorite restaurants. That's like right in the top, like like the top fifty for sure. They got great pizza. But anyways, I'm just going to continue my walk here and get it done quick. I can smell the rain. Hopefully I don't get soaked. Nice. Nice truck. I'd love to have one like that. I'd love to have a lot of things. I don't know, they're quiet. A residential neighborhood. Just across the border from Minnesota. Literally like, look. Look at the map here where I'm walking. That river on the bottom right there. You can see a line going through it. See that? That's the international border. So we're just barely on the Canadian side still. Though if you wouldn't look at the license plates, or the speed limit signs that are in metric, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And the flags also, the flags in the sky, that uh, that gives it away. If this was on the other side of the border, there'd be a US flag flying off of, say, two thirds of the houses. You don't see that here, so that's how you know you're on the Canadian side. We're getting faster. 52 minutes. 3.06 miles. This car is going to come in here, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, get, I'll leave room for you. Come on around. Point two miles, turn right on. 
International Bridge, Highway 71 and then turn right in 0.4 miles. In 800 feet, turn right on International Bridge, Highway 71 and then turn right in 0.4 miles. Okay. I still don't know this intersection. On the right there, that sign, that white sign on the pole says, right turn permitted on red. However, I don't see a right turn here. So, I don't know what that means. Am I allowed to go through this red light? Is this considered a right turn? Because I mean, it's a slight right turn, right? Not what I would say is a right, they should've been a little more clear. Like, hey, if you're going this way, you don't have to listen to the light. Well, then why put the light there? I stop for the light anyway, I'm not risking it. There's no turning back now. Now we gotta cross the bridge. I guess we could back out of here, but we'd be getting some raised eyebrows and some suspicious looks from customs. This is the zone you don't want to mess around in. <coughs> Got Canadian customs off here to my left and American customs just up there to my right over the bridge. But I will see you guys on the American side. good all the way down it's still kind of misting I'm glad I went for my walk in Fort Francis I didn't really get rained on at all there but I definitely would have been soaked to the bone walking here in Brainerd so I've got my load here right where I'll be unloading parked under the light for the night waiting for them to get here in the morning Looks like the tarps stay good and tight. Everything will be nice and dry in there. Thanks for hanging out with me. Tomorrow's another day. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed. Go down below, hit that like button if you like my videos, and of course, leave a comment. And if you wanna go one step further, you can join, become a member, get early access to the videos. That's fun. So we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Take care everyone, drive safe out there. Use your turn signals and pay attention.